Today's question is rather interesting and just a reflection at how horrible sex education is in Kenya. It says, and I'm not judging, but this is what it says. Hello, ladies, you're looking lovely. Thank you very much. Aki, I have messed up big time. I have missed my period for a whole month. Nimejipima leo nikapata niko na ball. Funny thing is, I took the morning pill after sex. I think it didn't work. I'm only 23 years. My life is not in order. I am confused. I don't know what to do. Kindly advise me. Should I tell my boyfriend about the pregnancy or keep quiet? Kindly, ladies, please help me out. Now, first things first. At least you're taking accountability. You're not blaming anyone. You're very aware of your situation in life. Good. We are on, on the same page. But number two, did you know that the morning after pill does not work when you're ovulating? Do you know there are times that your morning after pill is just like a particle? It's null and void. You, you might as well have taken a Tic Tac. It's of no use exactly. So did you know the days when you can have unprotected sex and take contraceptive and for it to work? Did you factor in other metho methods of contraception? Or did they just tell you, ah, you'll take the morning after pill? Number two, you shouldn't be taking the morning after pill. If anything, it's an emergency pill. The emergency should happen maybe once a year. At most, once a year. twice a year. That's you a lot. You shouldn't consume mm. the morning after pill, I think, twice in two years. Yes. Because mm. it is horrible. It does horrible things to your body. It damages you in ways you will never know until you're much older. Or a few years later, you realize, ah, this is that P2 doing things. I'm not naming names. I'm just saying that thing is horrible to your health. So that's something you should have taken into account. But now here you are pregnant. What do you do? You've already said you're not ready to have a child. Clearly, you're all of 23 years old. So there are options for you. Will you have a child? Will you not have the child? Will you involve your boyfriend in, the, in this process? I'd like to think so. I'd like to think he would be responsible and say, listen, we're not ready for a child. What are the options we can pursue? What's going to happen? So I, I'm just saying, take anything you want to take from that conversation. But I do sympathize with you. And I feel horrible that this happened to you. But it's life. So it's time yeah. to put on your big girl pants. Yeah, I know we speak about this in um, Lucy Goosey sometimes, but honestly, pro-choice. Always pro-choice. My, oh, my answer will always be pro-choice. Because guess what? We say it here on the, time, on the show all the time. Mm -hmm. If you're not physically, mentally, spiritually, um, financially, and even emotionally ready to have a child, you're going to regret it for sure. And that is just, you're 23 babes you're a child mm. you just got out of your teenage years you, do you really want to start raising another child i really genuinely don't think so so always take your options if um if you can but always be safe as well there are places you go and they're dingy <laughs> there are places you will go <laughs> and you will bring more trouble to your body than you should really truly honestly speak to um your gynecologist mm. Try, or actually yeah, speak to your gynecologist or an obstetrician let them tell you what options you have how far along are you you know if you are past a certain number of weeks it starts to become a little bit more technical it starts to become a little bit more of an um of an undertaking yeah and you really don't want to strain your body unless you're sure mm. Start that's where I would start. I'd go to my gynecologist. I'd go to my obstetrician. And there are so many places where you can go. It doesn't even have to be a personal one that you go to. No, just go and consult. Tell them this is a situation. Mm -hmm. How do I proceed? They'll give you options. You'll get an ultrasound. If you don't know how far along you are, you will now find out how long you're, you, you are and then what options are available to you. Once you speak to a professional, you will be able to have all the options made very very clearly aware to you and then you decide to tell your boyfriend after mm -hmm. that you're like yeah i found out i was pregnant i went to the doctors this is what they told me these are the options that are available to me and then i made this decision mm -hmm. we don't want to also tell you to make a decision that you're not ready for some people just have way too much guilt to proceed with uh, taking a choice mm -hmm. some people just want to be pro-life so i don't know what kind of energy you have are you pro-life or are you pro-choice that's entirely your personality so you need to make that decision for yourself. 
these are the options we've given you these are the things i would do if i were in your space and so take that advice uh, as you as you want to take it i think but yeah at 23 truly I'm honestly so it's very scary. Imagine, yeah. I can imagine how you're feeling. You feel so alone mm. and so scared. You don't even know because you just came out of your teenage years. You're freaking out about telling your parents. It's such a weird space to be in. Mm -hmm. Just speak to a gynecologist. And remember, the more people you involve, the more people you have to answer to afterwards. So if I were you, I'd just deal with it on my own. And when I'm sure of the decision that I want to make, then I can then involve people. people. That's what I would do. The more people know, the more people you have to explain to. Ah, let us know what your thoughts are. Are you pro-life? Are you pro-choice? Uh, yes. And if you don't know what I mean, I think you shouldn't be part of this conversation to begin with. Moving on, see some messages that have come through. Uh, let's read a few on 0770 Someone says, hi girls, looking pretty as always. Kathomi, this is the perfect weather for two unmatched white socks. Love you girls. I love it when I see people that follow me on Instagram. Follow me over here. Love it, love it, love it. Yesterday, I had worn two socks that were not uh, matching. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be entirely honest, I have worn those socks more than once. I wouldn't lie. I've worn them more than once. Why? What, what you're not telling them is that those are my socks that I lent you <gasps> that you never return. What? I've been wondering who gave me these socks? Yes, these smart socks that you're parading on the internet that you did not return. I thought they were Marisa. I see you. Oh! Yes, from the party we went and I, you guys, we went to a party, <laughs> I was in heels and I got tired of wearing heels so Turi gave me her socks. I removed my shoes and I wore socks and I parambulated heavy in white socks on a wet night. Uh -huh. It was a very interesting, okay, I'll give you back your socks. I, I'm so, no, I've been wondering <laughs> who gave me these socks. It's so weird because I wear them all the time. I swear it's so weird. I'm to go. I love you. I to go. What did you say? Yeah. <laughs> I see someone else saying hi, girls, looking dope. This is Elsie. Hey, Elsie. Saying, please shout out my sister, Grace. What's up, Grace? Mm. Getting love from your sister and us mm. on Ebru Let's Talk. Uh, she's a class 8 candidate. Oh, that's so they cool. Just finished they just KCP. finished KCP. Mm -hmm. Are the results out? I heard the government Not saying yet. that the, the, so there's been there. very minimal cheating this year. And wow. we're happy for them. You saw? Oh, Barely any you. cheating. Ah, uh, you, you class 8 candidates. You uh, did well. You're good doing good well. Good. What's someone else saying? <laughs> <laughs> we have G who is watching from Kikuyu saying, you got to say your secret. Like, how do you do it? Today you look like uh, you belong on a billboard. Wow. <laughs>